Hi guys. What's up, everybody? This is uh, number, or this is course five, levels four and five. Uh, kind of a guide on what you need to do here. These ones in the beginning here, it, it's pretty simple. You want to spray this blue stuff on everything. <laughs> so, uh, this this video is actually going to be a bit longer because the levels are these. As you get farther into five, the it gets. It gets a lot longer in the levels, and it takes a bit to cycle through these. So, anyways, once once you get up there, your partner is going to need to set you up. Like I'm setting my partner up there, he's going to jump down and fly out, and then he'll be able to bounce from wall to wall up there because the walls are coated. And then he's going to fall. I'm not entirely sure how he fell, um, but I'm going to have to laugh at him. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna attempt to do that again. Uh, we'll set him up one more time, and uh, he can jump through there again, bounce straight up through the top. Now he's got to turn around and and set me up as well. I can get up top there, uh, but he's gonna need to uh, he's gonna need to set me set me up on the angle over there because I can't see it. So as you can see there, he should should shoot one right in front of me and then he shot one to my right you can see faintly the blue there and that's gonna send me up through this this uh, bounce ball and uh, this is definitely another interesting dynamic that the valve put in us I, I thought this is a pretty neat addition um, through this next part here again this is again it's pretty pretty this more light stuff is fairly simple uh, this one, you know, actually it's probably going to be a big sticker for everybody else. Um, for a lot of people. And I imagine, again, like I said the, in, the, in the last video, these ones in 5 are probably going to be pretty popular. Or, or at least, uh, you know, have a lot of views because some of these are kind of difficult. Um, it took us a few minutes to figure some of these out. It took me 10 minutes. I think it took us about 10 minutes, I think, to, to figure this one out. So getting the first guy up there is pretty easy. Getting the second guy up there, not easy. <laughs> well, it's easy. You know, all these puzzles are easy in the end after you, you know, seen it done. I mean, of course it's simple, but you know, when you're trying to figure it out, it doesn't make any sense. Now, um, this first portal I shoot here, you don't need to do that. I don't know what I was thinking. I shot the wrong one. I think I've been playing too many levels uh, lately or whatever. But you can see in the cam down there, my partner's hitting the switch to get the blue stuff to come out. What I needed to do was shoot that one straight in front of me because you want to coat that board directly underneath me in blue stuff. And so you'll see that stuff come flying out. And uh, I, my partner's overdoing it there. He likes uh, shooting, making sure there's plenty of blue stuff on there. <laughs> You'll see that a lot in these videos. It's going to end up being like that with the orange stuff too. So anyways, you grab the, the light rail and you shoot that right there. And then you coat that light rail in blue stuff as well. So you're basically making your own bounce wall there. And once that's coated, then he can run over there, as you can see in his cam, what he's doing there. And uh, jump across just like I did on the other side. And uh, so, it again, fairly simple solution, but not something you would think of right away but that's pretty much what this whole game is based on right so um Oh, don't worry. This next one we're going to the right and historical document of my heroic quest. I will receive all the glory um, for the rescue. In that I one, you two that are one's going to get something. Some interesting the bond you little formed nuances during these tests you know, will last five, a lifetime. This one's actually pretty fun. This is when you first get introduced to the speed gel or whatever the heck they call it. So coat that whole area. I mean, it was immediately evident that you needed to. There was a ramp and there's speed gel. Perfect. So, hop on there and, and speed across. Now, the timing on this can get kind of frustrating. But what we found is that if you were to take, uh, they got to they got to launch off there and catch that box in midair. So, what we found is is that if you back all the way up against the uh, that that back portion behind that that orange rail over there. With your put your back up against it and then say go as I'll hit the switch right away and if he went forward right away 
that was the timing. And I'm assuming that's something that Valve did. I mean, it makes sense. It gives you a marker, and it pretty much tells you where you need to go. So um, he's coding that that whole back area there. He's convinced that that's going to help. Uh, but I, I, I feel that you've got the same speed no matter what. And you can see in the cam what he's doing there. So he's going to say go with his back to that. I hit it, and boom, he's right off. No, that one he may failed too. So I think we got it maybe on the third try. Or fourth or tenth or I don't know how long we're going to sit here and, and watch us fail at this. But <laughs> that's how you do it. I doubt many people are going to be watching this part anyways because this is probably not where you're stuck at. Because although this is a, uh, a uh, not really difficult part, and I guess it kind of is because you have to have perfect timing, it's, it's pretty easy to figure out what you need to do. It's just difficult to execute. So, anyways, this, uh, I think we get it here. Yeah, we got it that time. Third time's a charm. So, stick that down on the block, and you can walk straight on through, and you are on to the next part. Now, you can jump off right here. Um, you don't have to walk all the way down the staircase. I'm not entirely sure why I decided that it would be, uh, Decided that I, I should walk down the staircase, but you know, whatever. We will wait an extra 10 seconds to watch me walk down the staircase. Uh, but you can jump off, so make use of that. And uh, so you make it through another one. This one is is really cool. This one takes forever to set up. Basically, you have to coat everything that you're touching in orange goo to make this work. Um, so anything you see up there needs to be shot with orange goo. So just you know, I'm going to try and explain this while we're shooting everything with orange goo here uh, because it takes a minute and the orange goo stuff is pretty self-explanatory as to when you need, where you need to shoot it. Uh, but you can watch the video anyways and figure out how to do it yourself. You don't need to see specific portals. Basically what happens here is you're going to need to, as you see behind me there is there's a bunch of uh, spike smashers and behind those are switches that you need to stand on to drop a ball out. So what you have to do is put yourself in an infinite loop walking forward and build up enough speed on the orange stuff and just like you used in the mass and velocity uh, course um, with the infinite loops, one person shoots one and it launches the other person out there. And so I also suggest that like what we're doing right now, you coat that, that surface up there that you're gonna land on um, you're going to need to hit that and be slick and fast through there so you don't get killed with the spikes. And I noticed that the timing on this is just as the spike is about to lift up, shoot the portal. So you're going to see I'm going to shoot this one here and I'm going to check the other one for a frame of reference there. Um, you see off to the right, um, I can see the spike. When that spike's about to lift up, I hit it and he launches through and uh, that's that so now that he's through he's gonna do the same thing for me so I need to get up there get in the loop and uh, make it go fast so it's kind of awkward figuring this out of, uh, initially on how uh, how you're gonna run straight through it um, just make sure that your portals are lined up so he shot it and I, I slid all the way through and got smashed it's close it's and going to fail me. but uh, we will try this again. <laughs> I guess there probably is a little bit of luck to that, but you know, realistically, and you have to, and you both have to be on opposite sides again. So make sure that you are on, in, indeed on opposite sides uh, because you do have to hit two switches at once to get that. So again, I'm going to go into an infinite loop here, uh, moving pretty quickly. And he's gonna shoot that. I'll slide through to the end and both stand on the switch and get that um, <laughs> You are moving pretty fast when you come out of there. I was surprised, you know, um, that, that actually you can get going that fast. This orange, that orange stuff was a blast. I wish they had more of it in the game because there have been, there could have been some pretty cool stuff that they had done. At the rate that. you are completing so, these tests, I am beginning to. Anyways, uh, we're at the end of the video, and uh, I think I have. Uh, Probably two more level five videos left. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, everybody.